You cannot live your child's life for them. You cannot. Oh, what a hot topic. What's going on, family? Welcome back for another one. Another real talk with your boy, JT. Praise the most high for everything. All is well. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Speaking of my wife last night, shout out to my beautiful wife, Dee Dee. We had a great conversation about raising children. As we have 19-year-old um, Gabby and of course I'm late in the game with two little ones <laughs> Jay and Jada and parenting is not easy it never stops look like and I was telling Dee Dee the thing is you can explain you can teach, you can provide, you can do all the things necessary that you're supposed to do anyway. Instilling in your children. Don't you know your children are still going to make mistakes? And I know every parent wish they could just stop them from making that. But this is what I want to tell you. You didn't get it at your age. They didn't get it at their age. And I, I know that's hard, but you got to reflect back on what you did and how you did it. Now, some of y'all may say I wasn't as bad. But my point is you still had to learn that lesson or lessons. And it takes time. Some people can, can get it right quicker than others, but you got to realize your child is still going to make their own decisions. You can't live their life for them. With JT, she's 21 now, and I understand. She's 22. She's 23. I understand you don't want them to fall like you did, mama, daddy. But in reality... When they have grown up and left the house for sure, what can you really do? You have done your job raising, but remember, they didn't get it right, and you didn't get it right. It took time. One thing that's hard for a lot of people to do is have patience and have patience with their children. Just like the Holy Spirit our patience with us. Patience is something else. The Bible says let her have her perfect work. Nobody really wants to see their children go through. Bumping their head up and down. But that's how you learn. And then some. You can tell your child is. And they're not as worse as some others. They get it right pretty fast right don't they that's why you be like my other child I got it I mean but boy that boy of mine or that girl that baby girl of mine is is they have to make their own decision so I wanted to do this video this is also an encouragement because so many parents continue to beat themselves over there well where did I go wrong at I taught her well, I taught him well, I did this, I did that, I showed by example, and they still had to bump their head and learn the hard way. Think about it. That's why as we get older, we look back over our life, we, we reflect back over our life, we be like, boy, when I was in my 20s, if I could have just, if I could go back and do it all over again, you can't. See, when you reflect back on what you've done wrong, how you could have done it different, your child going to do the same thing. And then you get all these, like, boy, my mama tried to tell me. My uncle tried to warn me about this. Papa tried to, yeah, that's my point again. You can tell, you can teach, you can warn all day long, but 
what the old fool you say, hard head, make a soft what? You know the rest. So just keep in mind. Keep that in mind. They didn't get it right. And you, you did you really get it all that right when you was their age? Just something to think about. Love y'all. Shalom.